All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today we're kind of going back a little bit, a couple of days for something that kind of slipped my radar when it happened. I I had no idea that this really went down. I never saw anything about it, which is kind of weird because I try to keep up with the Call of Duty community at least a little bit because even if I don't play the games actively really anymore, at least maybe hopefully the next one will change that. I still kind of want to pay attention because I do make content surrounding the game sometimes. Like I talk about the new updates in the Call of Duty community or whatever. But this this one slipped my radar and I think it might have been because it was coming from one of the esports accounts for FaZe and I may not have been following it or whatever but I, I was kind of mind blown when I found out about this so I was watching a Birdman video last night and that's what kind of really brought all this to my attention surrounding this topic and when I saw this I was like man I gotta throw my two cents in on this too because this is literally just bullshit like I don't understand why this became such a big situation I don't understand why people are tripping out the way that they are about this this might be one of the most most ridiculous esports controversies that I've ever seen in my life. And like, I've seen dozens, if not hundreds of them at this point, man. Going back all these years, there's been all kinds of situations that have unfolded that you would think could probably take the cake in terms of being like the dumbest esports controversy or whatever. But I genuinely cannot think back on one that really makes less sense than this one. So I guess I'll just introduce you guys to the tweet and we'll uh, kind of talk about it from there because that's really the best thing we can do. So so the Atlanta Phase Con team's account tweeted out how many drinks to take them home, and it has eight pictures of what appear to be females on the screen. Obviously, the tweet has now been deleted because it was controversial and everything, but uh, yeah, that that's the tweet. This is the tweet that's controversial, man. So now you might be struggling to understand what the controversy is here, because that was me at first. I was like, all right, so what's the big deal? You know what I mean? What What's the problem? Why is everybody upset? Well, then Atlanta Phase came out with an apology for this tweet that kind of explains why everybody was mad in the first place and let's go ahead and take a look at that our entire organization wants to apologize for the misguided tweet posted recently this is not okay we understand that there's no room for misogynistic or harassing behavior and that women in the call of duty community deserve better we deeply apologize to those we've offended and know that we've fallen short of your expectations and ours we have addressed this issue internally and vowed to move forward in a positive manner for all signed atlanta phase all right, so I, I just want to break this down, right? So the reason that this is apparently so offensive is it's offensive to women, right? It's misogynistic, right? Because these innocent, beautiful women in this picture were objectified to a standard that is absolutely unacceptable, guys. How dare you? Can you believe that this account would talk about women in this manner? In the same manner that virtually all men talk in? Because I like, you know how many times I've heard like, hey yo, how many drinks to insert this, right? It's just kind of like a common guy trope, I guess, if that makes some sense. Uh, for people who don't go outside or like talk to real people. This is just how people joke around, bro. This, it's a fucking joke, you know what I mean? It's not serious at all whatsoever. But in case you didn't notice from the context clues, uh, none of the people people in these pictures are actually women in the first place. So what they did, right, is they took a bunch of professional Call of Duty players from the Call of Duty League and they did like that face app bullshit y'all do on your phones where you can like, I don't know, man. It's like a filter or something that can change your gender or your sex or whatever you want to call it, right? And so if you're a guy, you can like take a picture of yourself and like see what you would look like if you were a girl, right? Well, basically Atlanta Faze did that with a bunch of men who are in the Call of Duty League turned them into women on these pictures, and then uploaded them. These aren't even real women. These are literally guys who identify as guys, who are guys 100%, you know, there's nobody here who's like transgender or identifies as something else. It's just people who straight up are guys who play Call of Duty that have been face-apped, and they're asking you how many drinks to take them home. So, apparently everybody lost their fucking marbles over some face-app pictures. So, it's kind of funny though, because this is literally what everybody has been doing with this face app picture for like six years now I, I don't know I mean I've I know like two dozen people who've done this and like made turn themselves into women or whatever and be like oh yeah I'd fuck me if I were a woman you know what I'm saying like it's cool when people do that but when the Atlanta phase tweet out a bunch of pro gamers that have been face apped into women it says ayo how many drinks to take them home apparently the whole world lost their fucking marbles and it was just the end of it all man so I don't know how this got turned into this big of a controversy like anyone who knows pretty much anything about about esports and Call of Duty in general would be able to tell that these are not real women, so 
I I'm having a hard time understanding how this is a misogynistic tweet and how it's so anti-woman and how it affects women so deeply when literally no women whatsoever are the targets of anything at all. In fact, the only people who are being targeted in the joke are men. And I guess it would be different if, like, these guys came forward and where they were like, oh, hey, I don't appreciate y'all fucking turning me into a female and then raiding me or whatever. I don't appreciate y'all putting me on blast on your social media team. Like, that would be different because at least, like, someone who was directly involved in the situation and actually affected would have, like, been offended and there would have been a reason to apologize. But from what I've gathered in this whole situation, this is literally people getting offended for the sake of being offended on behalf of other people. Like, basically, people got on Twitter, they saw this, and they were like, hey, I'm offended on behalf of that gamer who got their fucking gender identity switched up in this picture. And then they just started, like, I don't know, complaining. Like, there's 65 quote retweets. I'm gonna assume that some of them are pretty nasty or whatever regarding the tweet, but I'm just confused on how this is a controversy in the first place, man. Like, I, I just, I don't get it. Where's the misogyny? Like, what, because they got turned into women? And another thing that people were kind of tripping out about, apparently, is they misinterpreted the tweet. So, the caption says, how many drinks to take them home? This is a common bar trope that guys do. Like, oh, hey, yo, how many drinks to take so-and-so home or whatever? Like, how drunk would you have to be to sleep with this person? But apparently, people twisted the meaning of the caption to, like, indicate that how many drinks would you give them to get them drunk and then take them home, which obviously that's sexual assault. So that is not at all what the tweet is even suggesting. Like, I don't know how your reading comprehension can be so broken and flawed that you interpret that message from how many drinks to take them home. But, like, you have to take the largest stretch of, like, you have to be some Stretch Armstrong type shit to stretch this far, man. Just absolutely ridiculous stretch. Like, it, it just, it's ridiculous that this became anything in the first place. Like, the fact that we're here talking about this as a legitimate controversy that an esports organization had to actually apologize for just kind of blows my mind altogether, man. Like, I just, I, I don't know. I would really like to see the reactions of the players that were pictured in this tweet. Like, I really want to know what they think about this. Because I'm almost certain that none of them were genuinely offended by this tweet. That none of them felt like they were being mocked or, like, talked down upon. Or, or felt like that this was in a misogynistic context or anything like that. I I'm pretty certain, man. So basically, this is just another story of people getting offended for the sake of being offended on behalf of other people. For literally no reason. Like, people got on Twitter and just chose to be upset about whatever the first thing was that came to the site, I guess. I don't know. But this is a legitimate non-controversy, man. Like, this is just ridiculous that people got upset about it. And I, of course, wanted to throw my two cents in on it because, well, it's just, it is what it is. And I think it's absolutely insane to be getting this mad over something like this. So, with that being said, though, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at sub to Optimus. Make sure to check out Shoptimus down below. And until my next video, guys... This is Optimus, well, I guess being misogynistic and signing out.